Hi! In this video, we are going to talk about three different ways to display texts and values in MATLAB. So, the first method involves the withdrawal of the semicolon, or inputting a variable name in the command window. So, let's just uh, open a script. I already opened a script and saved the script with a name. You can save it in any name. And then I will define a variable. Let's define a variable named um, temperature. You can define anything, um, any other thing you want. And let's assign the temperature value as, say, 70. Now, um, if I put a semicolon here and run it, you can see in the workspace it, it still uh, generated the variable and the value has 70, but it didn't show up anything. If we just withdraw this semicolon, and then the temperature equals to 70 will show up. Now, even in the command window, if we type the temperature value, it will show up 70. So this is one way to, to show display the text or any variable value in the uh, MATLAB environment. Now, instead of defining a numerical value for a variable, we can also define a character or a string for a variable. Let's define another variable. Um, let's say the variable name is text. You can define any other thing one. And the text should have a string or a sentence uh, named hello world. Remember, uh, you have to put the uh, quote sign before and after so that the MATLAB knows this is a string instead of a numerical value. And now if I just run it, you can see it first showed up the temperature equals to 70 value and then it showed up the text equals hello world uh, sign. So whenever we, uh, we submit, we um, exclude the semicolon, it just, it just suppresses the command like this. It, do, it doesn't show up anything. And if we want to see the variables, we, we just have to I mean, the semicolon from here. So that's the first method. The second way we can we can display a text is to use to use a function that's named disp function. So um, to see that, let's type in help and type the function name, which is disp. Press enter, and MATLAB will show how to use this function. So as you can see, disp uh, in the parentheses we have to. We have to put the variable x here, and that way we can output any variable we want. So here, if we come and type disp parenthesis, and then write the variable name, which is temperature. And now, if I run it, you can see the, the text 70 showed up here. One thing is that the command window is getting cluttered, so we can use uh, first line as CLC to clear the command window and clear will all to clear all the variables in the memory so that we don't have to worry about overlapping memories. So if I just run it again, now it will clear, clear everything and show up only the output. So now it's showing 70. We can still use the dis, this function to generate the text variable, which is the hello world. So with this, we can use the display, the display function, which is the disk function, and have any variables uh, output in the MATLAB environment. The third way we are going to talk about is to use a function named fprintf. So I'll put a comment, fprintf function. Now, how to use the fprintf? We can just do the same, type help and type the function name or you can Google, Google it and if I just press enter you can see there's a lot of information about the function. So we can use it in multiple ways. The one that we want to use is this line so it kind of uh, first it defines what it does so it writes formatted data to text files and if we use this one um, so it says format data and displays the results on the screen. So we need to use the fprintf and then parenthesis. We will use the format and then uh, uh, in the after the comma, we have to use the variable name. And there's uh, multiple 
ways we can use the escape characters. What is escape character? It's basically the end of line we can choose where the cursor should be. So if, if I choose different commands from here, the cursor will move according to this. So if I choose, for instance, slash forward slash n, the cursor will go to a new line. If I choose forward slash t, the cursor will go to a tab distance, something like that. We'll see an example a little later. Okay, so let's just let's just see how fprintf works. Okay, so um, it, it's it kind of works in a it can uh, works in a different way. So let's just say fprintf and parentheses. Now we can type a line or sentence. Let's say the temperature um, is now we have to put a data type. Um, what is a data type? A data type is is what defines the the variable or the character. What is going to be the input of that variable? So, in this case, we will use percent f. Here, the percent is not for a comment. We will discuss the data types in a later video. But for now, the percent f is indicating a floating point number. So, if we say percent f and then say um, close the uh, uh, quote and then comma and now after the comma you can see we have to put the variable name now our variable name is temperature we just have to write the variable name and that ends the command and if i run it and you can see uh, the display commands from before it, it generated this line, the text generated hello world, this line, and this fprintf actually generated the temperature is 70. Now you can see um, the, the end of line here is kind of crammed and is here, so we can use those escape characters that we talked about. So if we use for slash n and run it again, you can see the end of character just went to the, the new line. So we can use something like that. And also another thing to remember is that uh, we have used only a decimal uh, integer number, but here it showed up 70 point, uh, a lot of zeros. So to control the uh, precision, we can use this um, trick. Uh, so like how many places do we want to go? So if I just do, uh, let's say one decimal place, I can do 0.1 f and that should cut it to one decimal place if i want to have two decimal place i can do that and that will go up to two decimal place and so on so depending on the need for the program we can change the precision and that way we can change the output the other thing to notice is that we can also use um, other data types here so if we want to output only an integer value instead of using a person f we can use a person d and that way it will only output an integer number now let's define another variable that can output the text that we have defined so the text variable can be outputted in another fprintf file so i'll just type fprintf and then parenthesis quote say and the variable here the data type should be person s s meaning the string so it knows that the data type um, that the variable it's expecting is a string so comma now the this this variable should be written here so if i just write text and now run it you can see the last line is say hello world so it just took this say and this in this place person s it just replaced all of it whatever it is there so now um, you can see the the end of line is um, um, beside that so we can change that by going here uh, slash n should change that to the new line um, okay so now if we want to change the text if whatever we put here say hello um hello world let's say put everyone now 
this text, wherever it is, changed everything. So here it says, say hello world, and here the display text prints hello world everyone. So instead of uh, outputting a number, it's outputting a string or a sentence. Now, instead of having person S, we can also use person C. The person C signifies a character. So instead of taking a, as a whole sentence, it will take as a, a letter or a character. So if I just run it, you can see all it, uh, it, broke, it broke up all the sentence and um, outputted all the characters. So we will talk about data types in, types in a later video. If you have problems understanding how to use these CLC and clear all variables, we have another video uh, where uh, we have discussed about that. And also if you have problems um, understanding how variable defi definition works, please uh, watch the previous videos and you will understand. So that's it for today. See you in the next one.